So now we're going to look at ad hoc commands. And the first thing you probably want to know is what is an ad hoc command? Now, looking at the explanation here in the Ansible documentation, it's, it's perfect. Uh, an ad hoc command is something that you might type in to do something really quick, but you don't want to save for later. Pretty much perfect, really. Uh, an ad hoc command is something that you would just do, as we're going to demonstrate now. And you might think, I don't want to save those actions later on. I just want to grab some information. I just need to go in and delete a user off a server or make sure a particular service is running. So a, a very common thing that I've done in the past is use ad hoc commands when, for example, the service is down on a few servers and we just need to get it up and running. If I know the group that those servers are in, it's just very simple to just type in, you know, Ansible module this service, uh, action enable, etc., so on and so forth, and then just action against those servers and the service comes back up and you're done and then you investigate the problem after the fact. And then maybe you'd write some playbooks in order to make sure that doesn't happen again further down the line. But an ad hoc command is perfect for that kind of situation. So we're going to look at ad hoc commands now that we understand what they are and what purpose they serve. And we'll action some commands against our DigitalOcean virtual machines.